Hello everyone, this is Rita Holmes, Independent Demonstrator with Stampin' Up! I'm from Ohio, bringing you a video tonight. I'm setting up my um, computer so that I'll be able to see and make sure I stay in the same area that you guys are in so that you can see this video better. But anyway, I just want to welcome you to my video and um, I'm getting situated here. We are going to be doing the pinwheel tower card tonight, so I'm going to show you um, how I do that and um, stuff. And I forgot to bring me an envelope in here because they do fit in an A2 envelope, which is very important. I have all of my information right here. You can screenshot that if you want. It has my email, my website, my YouTube name, which you're on. My Facebook group, and that is where I do my Facebook videos every Tuesday morning at 10 o'clock. And I also put files, up, a PDF file of all the cards that I make there that you can see. This is my August host code that if you need to place an order, you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to get your order and um, you can use this host code when ordering. I would really appreciate it. And let's see here. Um, do you remember that our mini catalog has started? It's celebration time. You should have a, a celebration catalog and um, with your mini catalog if you have a demonstrator that has given that to you. If not, let me know and I'd be happy to mail you one. But celebration goes on till the end of August and this paper that I've used right here on this card is actually out of the um, celebration catalog. So, um, Anyway, back to my PDF real quick. Let me just show you. You get all the directions and then pictures of the card to um, help you on making the card later on. So, with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me show you the tower cards. They sit like this. They open up so they can be set around and... Um, made into a tower. They've been laying folded, so you, but you can straighten them up and lay them down. You can do them several different ways. I have this as the front of my card, and this would be the back of my card, okay? If you wanted to write something, you could either put a note in there or put a piece of white cardstock in one of the sections and then write whatever you would like to write. My Christmas card, I have this as my front, sending love and peace this season, and it says Merry Christmas on the back. But on this one, I did, as you flip it, I have sayings on each piece of paper, of um, each panel. So you can do it several, several different ways. Um, we are not going to be doing the Christmas one tonight. We are going to be doing this one. And I'm actually, the paper that I'm using is actually a hostess gift. And I'm sorry if my voice went out. I had to lean over the table. And this pack of paper you can get in the hostess products. It's $18. you got to have over a $150 party to get it. But it has all different colors of paper in here. And um, on the back side, the back side of every piece is black and white. So you get a lot of different black and whites in there. That one you can color. And there's stripes. Um, little pin dots. More little polka dots. And then kind of like a plaid, a black and white plaid, a buffalo check. And let's see what these are. Just little designs little designs of black and white so you get a lot of paper in here it's like 48 sheets of paper so which is a good deal for $18 with a $150 party you would have to pay $3 of that because you get 10% once you've earned $150 so you would get $15 off of that actually is what you would get so, let me show you how we're going to start this card. It looks funny that this is going to be your five and a half, five and a half by four and a quarter card, but that is what it's going to make. So, the first piece that we're going to be using, this is going to be our tower. This is this piece right here that we're going to glue everything to. 
It's four and a quarter by four and a quarter, and we are going to be scoring that in just a second. I'm going to give you all the measurements first. You're going to cut four panels that are two and three quarter by four and a quarter, and that's going to be these panels that go here. Then these are going to be our coordinating. What I did is I cut two papers. They're two different papers. This one, so you'd have these, and that's the same paper. And then the same with this one. You'll have them the same, but we're going to alternate them. So, and those are cut four, four and a quarter, wait a minute, I'm on the wrong side. Two and a half by four is this size. And this is one and a half by four. And it's just the other um, piece of that. If you cut a four by four piece, then you get you can cut all of this out of it. And then we have some embellishments. And I use the uh, Pierce to Blooms, which are right here, that have the all the stitch marks on all of the pieces that's in here. It's a really neat set. It actually coordinates with this in bloom stamp set. I have used this much more than I've used this. The only thing I've used this for actually is my sayings, which I'm going to be using these two sayings tonight. So um, we will get started on our card right now. Let's move everything out of our way so we can work as we go. I'm going to bring in my scoring tool and I'm going to score this at one inch intervals so it'll be a if I can hold my paper up there one two three and four and it leaves this little quarter inch mark right here okay so that's all the scoring we have to do on this now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to fold my edges over and use my, I use a pot scrubber from Pampered Chef. Most people use a um, scoring tool, but I've always just used one of these and I like it, so I just continue to use it on. So therefore I have all of these to where this will go like this. I'll glue that together and make a tube, okay? So the easiest way that I do that is I bring in my silicone mat. I'm going to lay this down and I'm going to take my stamp and seal because it's easier to use than glue for this part. And I'm going to go just on that edge. See if I can get it to go. Come on, I just made sure you were working. And you don't want it to go over that edge because then it'll be too sticky. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that down at this point. Just fold this in half. And I'm going to make sure that my paper lines up. And it does. We're good. So there we go. The best thing you can do here now is just get your little scoring lines together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start where these edges meet. I'm trying to figure out which way. Okay, there we go. It's hard to see with these little lines because I'm going to put my first piece here. Now this is the most um, important part that you are going to be doing. And that is how you lay these pieces out so that they fit right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our stamp and seal and I'm going to go down just make sure I got that at the top and at the bottom. So I'm going to line this up right at the edge of where I put that together and I'm going to 
seal that. Now I'm going to turn it over. And if I open that up, you can see my edge is right here. And this is going to be bedded up against that edge. Now you could do it this way, you know, once you fold it to make sure that you have it. I don't because I'm going to make sure that I get right to that one. And on different papers, it'll show up a lot better. So, um, now you can feel your little line right there. So we're going to put that one there. So now we have these two done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this one in and put here. So we're going to just... And the reason why you're do doing this, if you just had put this one here and came over here and put that one next to there, then your card wouldn't open up. And ask me how I know. Because I did it. Okay, we got that one there. And then we're going to turn over and put this one right here. So, and it will go. Did I cut one extra? No, that was that extra piece I had. It's bigger. But I didn't grab it. So, this one's almost too short. I might take the bigger one and trim it off because I know it's the same size this away. And no, it is not. What we'll makes this one work? It'll work. Because what I'll do is trim that up. You can always trim your ends up to match. This was actually my video I would have been doing last week, but I, for some reason, did not get that done. I want to glue this one over just a little bit more so we don't see that. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim that up right there. It's hard to see you on the black. Hope that doesn't mess up my pages too much, but we'll see. Let's see. No, we're good. We are good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take on the front and the back. I'm going to just pretend this is front. This is back. And I'm going to glue on my black pieces. Now I'm going to use my um, glue. So I'm going to glue on the two pieces that are my black. Which is hard to see on the black. There we go. Then I'm going to turn that over and I'm going to take the other black one and I'm going to put here. Okay. Okay, now what we will do is we'll fold this over this away and we will put our colored ones on. And I'm not, just so I got them spaced apart, I'm not worried too much about which one goes where. So let's turn this one over and we'll put this one here. I didn't get that piece over there just good, but I'm not going to try that. It'll be okay. 
what happens when you use white. You can use um, cardstock to make your tower out of, but that makes your card just a little bit bulkier. So that depends on you on how light, how you like to make your cards, if it's bulky or not. So now what I'm going to do, I think I'll bring this one in here. Let's see if this is going to work. And this one in here, and then when I fold that over, then I'll put the opposite. That will work. So here we go. We're going to put this one here. These are really easy to do. You just have to uh, get all your pieces cut. So we put that black one there. So let's turn that over. And we are going to put this black one here. I've made a few of them and I like them. Okay, now we're going to open that up this way. And since that print is there, I'll put this print over here. I'm not one that likes really, really busy cards, but I really do like, I like the looks of this paper. And I like these prints together. They coordinate, they're not real busy prints, so I was glad about that. So let's turn that over, and then the stripe will go here. So if I turn my card this way, I've got it this way, the same. It's going to all look the same as that one. Or I can keep it turned this way. Doesn't really matter how you do it. Isn't it funny how that all just coordinates together? So this is going to be the front of my card. And I think I'm going to leave it this way right now. What I did is I already die cut die cut in all of my pieces which I have a big blue flower that's Coastal Cabana a small one this is Blushing Bride and I put fl Flirty Flamingo on my directions which I'm sorry um, a big one and then a small one then I have six leaves three for each set of that and I have two small circles and two large circles for the insides of my card and I did them in black just to tie the black in with the colors okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a pop dot not a pop dot I'm sorry a glue dot and I'm just going to put that in the center of this flower and I'm going to glue my flower down like that I'm going to take and do the same thing with my pink flower. And then I'll just place this where I think I like it. I think it's going to be right there. Okay, before I forget, I will take, with these I do put a little dot of glue in the center. Just barely and I'm going to put the big center and the big flower and the little one with the little flower and I will use glue on my lace so what I'm going to do is take and put a little bit of glue on here that will just tuck in behind these flowers like so and then I'll bring two more in and put at the bottom so I think what I'll do is put one right here to give that away I just don't want it to interfere with closing or flipping whichever way you want to put it and then I'll do another leaf right in here and I just stick them right in under there press on where the glue is and that one's done 
So now I'm going to flip it over. And I think I'll put my flower down here. So let's bring in the glue dot for that. Or Let me see. I think I'll go down here again. Okay, let's put these little thinners in. And as you see, I just barely put a glue of a dot of glue. Kind of press on that in the center, so it takes hold. finger off of that one. Okay, now I'll bring my leaves in. And I think I'm actually going to do this side a little bit different. I'm going to tuck this leaf in here like so. Put it under both of them. I'm going to bring another one in and do the same thing. Do that right here. I'm going to turn this upside down to see where I want to put this leaf. I think I am going to actually put this leaf. I don't know if I want it over there. Or up in here. I think I kind of like it down in under here, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Nope, I think I'll put it at the top. I'll put it right here. I'll just tuck that down and under there. Stick a little bit of green out there. There we go. And now, here's how our card is going to go. We're going to stamp. We have two sayings to stamp, and one of them is happy birthday, which will barely fit on that. We'll stamp it in the tuxedo black. So you got the black in the card. Okay, if you see my head in here, I'm sorry. Hope I got it. Let's see. Now I got it. And now we'll stamp that you're amazing. And this piece right here. And what I'm going to do with the two things is I'm going to use the dimensionals and pop them up. So let's take this one first. And we're just going to line it up down here. And then we're going to turn it over. And we're going to take this one and we're going to put dimensionals on it also. And we'll, whoops, stick on my finger. There we go. So it says, Happy Birthday. And I didn't do anything on these pages. I mean, you could decorate that up as much as you would want to. And then you are amazing. So that is how you do this card. It's really super, super simple. The main thing of it is, is getting your black pieces on your little tower. And um, other than that, you're good to go. 
So there it is in a Christmas card, and there it is in an everyday card. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing it. I know there's a lot of tower cards out there right now. I just thought I would put a little spin on mine and do one the way I like it. So I hope it helped, and if you do need the PDF for that, remember you can go over to Stamp Crazy VIP on Facebook and um, look in the file section there, which is at the top of the, the page there. There's little buttons to push, and, and you'll see files, or you'll see three little dots you hit, and uh, drop down, and it'll say files. But there's all of my PDFs in there. There's like probably like close to 70 different PDFs of cards that we've done through video since the last almost year and a half. So everybody have a nice evening, nice day, whatever time it is that you're watching this, and we will see you soon. Be blessed.